Okay. Okay, so we're going to install a cover shelf to a PVC swim spot. We're going to start by opening the box, making sure all the parts are there. You have the brackets, which get mounted to the skirt. And if you notice, they come with the short screws, inch and a quarter. PDC, in their kit, they provide instructions and a two and a half inch set of screws, which are needed to go through the synthetic panel and get into the wood frame. That's where it needs to be attached. So we have the parts we need. So the tools we need is going to be an impact gun, a tape measure, a level, a square, Phillips head bit, square drive bit, three eighths inch drill bit and a drill and a jigsaw. All right, what we're going to do is remove the trim on each side of the swim spa where the brackets will get attached. We're gonna remove the trim and the panel so that we can locate the frame. As you can see, the panel's been removed and the frame is exposed. On each side, there is a two by six upright on each side. That's where the brackets will be mounted. So we want to take a tape measure and we want to mark where, where the two by six ends. So, a two by six is actually five and a half inches. We're gonna measure out from the inside edge, five and a half inches, and place a piece of tape at the five and a half inch mark so we know that that's the other side of the two by six. Okay, now we're gonna set the panel back in Keeping our half inch gap. Yep. Yep. Keeping a half inch gap between the panel and the corner. Okay, so now we're going to put the shelf arm into the bracket, as shown. We're going to align it so that the top of the arm is even with the top lip of the swim spot. That's where it's going to be mounted. So. While leveling it with the lip, we're also keeping it on the two by six upright so that when we screw it, we're going to attach it to the upright. We're going to mark the holes with a marker. <clears throat> Once the panel's marked, we're going to remove the panel again to drill holes where the screws go. Now notice the bit. We're using a 3 8 inch drill bit, which is larger than the screw. It's going to be the hole through the synthetic skirting or cabinet, which will allow it to expand and contract without causing warping or buckling of the panel.
Can you get your weight a little bit, Adam? Get her a half yep. inch. Yep. Now that the holes have been enlarged, drilled out, we're going to reattach the panel, again, allowing a half inch gap on each side. Using the two and a half inch screws provided by PDC in the cover shell and discarding the shorter screws. Keeping the caps. But we want to keep the caps to cover the head. Good now. Screw the bracket. The skirt, snugging it up not over tightening it. You do not want to pinch or compress the, the plastic panel. The screws are going into the two by six. Notice on this side, we still have our tape mark where our five and a half inches are. So that we're sure these screws are also going through the plastic and into the two by six. One more screw in. Okay, once that is attached, now you get your trim, and you'll have to place your trim up, and the trim will need notched where the bracket goes. We're going to put the trim alongside the bracket, and we're going to mark where we're going to cut the trim. And basically, we're cutting a section out the size of the bracket. Using a combination square, we're going to mark a line where our marks were, draw a line to make sure we get a nice square cut. Be our top piece. Removing the shelf from the bracket, we're now going to attach the first trim piece back in place. Notice the half inch gap between the panel and the corner, and that's where we're running the screw in to the two by six. Again, allowing for the panel to expand and contract with those screws holding it in place. After the next cut, the section removed is discarded and we're going to attach the bottom trim the same way. Inserting the screws through the trim into the gap and into the 2x6. We're going to put the bar, the shelf bar, back in to the bracket. And now we're going to put on the little plastic screw caps. Just remove them from the bag and press them firmly over the head of the screw that is exposed. This will protect them, make it look nice, and keep them from rusting.
open the arm and lean firmly on it. And you can be assured that the screws are through the synthetic cabinetry and into the two by six structure or framework behind it. After that, that the first one is now installed. So you would follow the same procedure on the other end or the other side here. And if it gets a cover shelf on each end, you do the same thing on the other end of the unit. Okay. In this picture, we're showing the CoverMate 3 uh, hydraulic assist cover caddy. And it is also important that where it's attached is there is a framework behind there. So installing this one, you would do the same thing by locating the frame and making sure your screws go through the bracket, through the synthetic skirting and into the frame.